Did someone say that Lundy's getting canceled? I've been waiting for this one. Turn it up. Hey cuties and welcome back to my channel for another video. If you would like to join the cuties family, all you gotta do is hit that subscribe button, the like button, and the little bell icon to get notified when I make new videos. Before we jump into this video, I want to shout out some of my patrons. All my social medias, plus my Patreon and my Discord, everything is linked down below. If you'd like to support me in any way you can, shout out to Sophie Christine, shout out David Arland, I'm pretty sure I already shouted you guys out, but I'm, I guess we're shouting you guys out again. Shout out to Aria Ferguson. I'm going to butcher your name, but shout out to J.A. Koenigsberg? Koenig, Cohen, Koenigsberg. You get the point. I love you. Shout out to James and shout out to Rachel Harley. Thank you guys so much for supporting my content in any way that you can. Today's video, we're going to be talking about a very famous lesbian who's getting canceled right about now. And I am here for it. Now, I have my own strong opinion about cancel culture I do believe in more of like accountability culture and call out culture but I think at this point this person has been so toxic harmful disrespectful and predatory that I think people should just stop supporting her because she's clearly perpetuated a lot of negative ideologies into a lot of younger people if you don't know who this person is her name is Lundy and her group of famous lesbian friends who are all from Florida so she was basically one of those like st like famous stud lesbians and people were starting to like fetishize this idea of like beautiful gays she kind of like rode off that wave of like the gay is getting super popular and became extremely social media famous. Uh, so she has a big Instagram following. I found out recently she has a big TikTok following and I went through her TikToks and oh my God, the most disgustingly cringy thirst trap TikToks I've ever seen in my life. We're gonna watch a few of them and just you guys can like cringe with me, please. Like, can we just stop with this kind of TikToking? Like, I first found Lundy when I was in high school. She was dating a girl named Whitney. At this point in my life, I was maybe in grade 11 or grade 12, so like 16 years old. And as we know from my previous video of me coming out, this is about the time that I was realizing my sexuality and coming out. So I was always obsessed with those like Tumblr couples and stuff, like Savannah and Jared and like those couples and like watching all their videos and stuff. I mean like, maybe one day someone will love me. But this was the first ever gay couple like lesbian couple that was my age and it was like you know what I mean this is where I was like so excited to like see their relationship play out and see how much they loved each other and, and how open they were and they were posting photos and videos I think this was all on Twitter too maybe a bit of tumblr Twitter and it was like so exciting for me I was like I was really invested in this relationship and like watching it unfold when they broke up I stopped really caring like I just I hadn't really like I literally have not thought about either of them since I was like 15 16 years old or whatever just because it was like it was like a fun moment when I was like in high school being like wow okay so like these couples do exist, you know? But I remember always getting like very creepy vibes from Lundy. And I always like racked it up to the point that she was like so cocky and like to the point where it was like way too much. And I racked it up to the fact that she had been overweight when she was younger and she like overcame that and whatever and got fit and like healthier and was like really confident in herself, right? So I was like, okay, maybe this like, She's compensating for how insecure she was by going overboard and being extremely like almost disrespectfully cocky. I'm totally cool with confidence, obviously. Confidence to me is thinking I'm beautiful. Like to me, I'm, I'm beautiful. I love myself. I think I'm gorgeous. You know, I think I'm a good person. I think I'm funny. Like I have confidence in myself. Cockiness or disrespectful cockiness is to the point where you're saying I'm beautiful and you need to think I'm beautiful too or I'm beautiful and because I'm beautiful, you owe me something. And that's just not okay. You can have confidence in yourself and love yourself and, and think highly of yourself, but to think that other people owe you that same, they need to think you're gorgeous or they owe you something because you're conventionally attractive, just shut the fuck up, like you're just an asshole. Their relationship broke up, stopped caring about them. And then recently on Twitter, her name kept coming up on my feed and I was like, that name sounds so familiar and all of a sudden I was like, oh my god and the like nostalgia of like being in the closet at 16 years old just started rushing back and the excitement of like looking at this couple and I was like, oh yeah, TBT, like throw back to that time. So I started reading the tweets and stuff and it was talking about Lundy being cancelled and I was like, 
Oh, okay. Well, let's like look into this. So we're gonna go over in this video her history and like her very problematic past and what she's done over the past like few years that have been super problematic and she probably should have been canceled like a million times before, but she's being canceled right now for consistently using the n-word up until very recently and she even came out with an apology recently that was just so... Like, do you guys not know how to apologize properly, like, and take accountability for your actions? Is it just like, are you just so far gone that you just don't understand? Anyways, we'll discuss that. So just to give you guys more of an idea of what Lundy's like and what her friend group is like, I'm gonna show you guys a bit of her TikTok. I don't think I'm gonna be able to play the audio in like two of the videos because I'll get copyrighted, but maybe I'll just like sing the audio over. Questions for the gays, part seven, as requested. I haven't heard these yet. What's your biggest pet peeve? Negativity to the max. Do you max. believe in once a cheater, always a cheater? No, I feel like people can change. Do you care if they're really clingy? No. Come here. What do you... T like, I'm sorry, it's just a, like, come here. You know, it... <laughs> she's just one of those, like... Oh, she's just one of those people who's like... <laughs> you know those TikTokers? <laughs> you know the TikTokers who like growl at the camera and shit? Like that's her. Like she just it's so cringy. I I can't even. Like it's so creepy. What do you typically notice about a girl when you first see them? Teeth and ass. But mostly teeth. Do you care what their body count is? If it's less than mine, no. Okay, so when she says something like this, to me it's like one of two things and both make her look like an asshole. So it's either one, you are so ingrained in your toxic masculinity that you believe that body count or the amount of people someone has slept with actually matters or actually holds merit in who they are and their value as a human being. Which if you believe that, you're absolutely disgusting. Second of all, which I think this is the more plausible reason, is that she is low-key humble bragging She's just slept with so many people that there's no way, there's no possibility that someone else that she's pursuing has slept with more people than her. So it's like a, yeah, if their body count's lower than mine, which of course it is because I've slept with like so many people. Like it's like cool, like flex on us a bit harder, why don't you? Absolute fucking weirdo. <laughs> and lastly, on a scale of 1 to 10, how freaky are you? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's just like so weird. It's like, I don't know. It's just so fucking weird to me. Questions for the gays part eight as requested. This is me answering drunk. <laughs> no one cares. An open relationship. No. Are you willing to be in one? Mm. No. Mine is mine. Do you find straight girls in the comments are like, oh my god, you turned me gay. You turned me Lesbian. Like, shut the fuck up. And hands attractive. Hands? I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Do you prefer long or short hair? Uh, long hair. Long Do hair. Do you care if they have long nails? That's weird. Uh, no, I like acrylic, so that's Have cool. you ever cheated? No, I have not. That's a lie. Should you kiss on the first date? If you're hot. What's your- As if, like, oh, if they're hot, yeah, like- so like conceited and like self-centered and like, puts such a high regard on like hotness. Like you're so gross. What's your type? Type? Uh, short, cute, and hot. I told you about to die. Are you short, cute, and hot? Yeah, yeah. So like when I'm talking about my type, most things I'll say they're a good human being. They're respectful. They're a feminist. You know this, this, and that. like the fact that you're just like short, cute, and hot. Like that's all I just look for in a person. Uh, she literally only respects people who she finds are hot and that's not respecting people willing to wait for someone willing to wait i don't wait not a thing and lastly have you ever turned anyone gay uh, everybody <laughs> <laughs> everybody she literally sounds like she doesn't even have three brain cells uh -huh, everybody uh -huh, everybody like i would hope that you had a bit more depth to uh, care about something other than people's like hotness, their appearance, and what they have to offer you. But you don't, like your videos just clearly show this kind of like toxic masculinity, this cockiness, this like uh, lack of respect for other human beings. It's like so obvious. I'm actually gonna make you guys watch this without music because I think it's even more cringy without music. Like, <sighs> I'm gonna make you watch this one without music too. It's just like, 
Oh my god, I get all the bitches. Yes, like, whoa. And this one's like, who in the hell put the muffins in the freezer? I did. Yeah. What you gonna do about it? That, that audio, you know? It's just so cringy. I hate it. I hate it so much. Now putting that all into perspective, we're gonna go into what people are calling her out for. I'm gonna like put it up on the screen over here, some of these screenshots. But basically this screenshot has been going around. If you literally search up Lundy and the N word, a lot of stuff will come up. And I'll, I'll put it here because I'm not gonna say any of these tweets. Even a black girl um, like tweeted her back in like 2016 and said, um, you're fine but stop saying like the n-word and Lundy had the audacity to reply this this is so ignorant it's a fucking song what you can say n-word because you're black but because i'm white it's unacceptable shut the fuck up you actually had the caucasity to tell a black girl to shut up for telling you to stop saying a word that has historically dehumanized, degraded, and demeaned black people? Are you fucking dumb? Are you dumb? Oh my God. And like, it's funny because if you go through these tweets, you will see a consistent basis of people calling her out being like, hey, don't use that word. Don't use that word. This person was trying to, you know, politely tell her like, hey, it's really like disrespectful for you to be using that word. Lundy replies, Fuck your systemic and institutionalized racism. Do not speak on behalf of all white people saying they're racist. Lundy, how ignorant are you? Like, honey, just like, shh, shh, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up, just shut up. Like you're a white girl from Florida, shut the fuck up. So then this girl tweeted, I think Twitter should know how blatantly racist Michelle Lundy is. I don't know her handle, so if someone could at her, that'd be great. Here's a screenshot of her apologizing to me after saying the N word with a hard R, not once, not twice, but three times and saying she didn't mean it offensively. Michelle texted her and said, you're cool, sorry for fucking up, I like you. And this girl replied, well, it's not about not knowing, it's a blatantly racist word. And Lundy said, I completely understand, I just don't think of it in a mean way because I'm not even remotely close to racist, but I really fucking get it and I'm sorry. I know it can be taken to offense and I just never mean it like that. I get it, I'll chill. To me, one that's not even an apology. It shouldn't be like, I get it that it's offensive, but I don't mean it that way. You should say, I'm sorry for using that word, period. It's not okay, period. A black girl is saying, hey, you literally said the N word with a hard R and I'm upset about it. And she said, yeah, I'll chill. No, you're not gonna chill. You're just gonna stop saying it, period. I have said for years that I never liked Michelle Lundy or how she chooses to utilize her social media platform. She's cocky in the most repulsive ways. She's ignorant and she's blatantly disrespectful. Please, for the love of God, stop fangirling over her rude and racist ass. Amen. Like her comments on TikTok are literally just filled with girls being like, oh my God, I think you turned me lesbian. Like, I think you turned me gay. Oh my God. And it's like, I'm straight, I'm straight, I'm straight, I'm straight, I'm straight. I swear I'm straight. Like, oh my God, don't tell my boyfriend. Like, haha. <laughs> it's like, just shut up. Shut up, first of all, if you knew anything about anything, you would know that you can't turn gay. Like, no one's turning you gay. And, and, if the fact that a girl like Michelle Lundy turned you gay, if that was even a real thing, you should be embarrassed. You should be embarrassed with yourself that a <laughs> type of girl. <laughs> you should be embarrassed that a <laughs> What type of girl turned you gay? So someone tweeted, Lundy should have been canceled when she cheated on her girlfriend and bought her a dog as an apology. And then someone replied to that and said, for me, Lundy was canceled four years ago when she called me fat and then put out her weight loss program two months later because she was bullied for being fat. Irony. And then someone replied under that and said, or when she came into my restaurant and asked for the hottest server and then got shitty because the server had no idea who she was. Imagine going into a restaurant and requesting someone who is conventionally attractive to be your server. And then when that server has no idea who you are and you're like super small following, like in the grand scheme of things, you are no one. When this person has no idea who you are, you actually got upset. That's really telling of your character and who you are as a person. And then this person, you can like zoom in on these if you want, but I'll read them out to you. Um, I've wanted to speak out for a while, but I've never had the right words to do so. I also used to hang out with Michelle's friend group and I was scared to come forward for fear of being outed. I think that means outed. 
I have been around Michelle on multiple occasions and felt extremely unsafe, uncomfortable by her behavior. She has come on to me multiple times despite me very blatantly and bluntly telling her to stop. It has gotten to the point where I've had to threaten speaking to a nearby police officer on the beach. She has put her hands around my neck, stood over me, grabbed my butt and my boob in a sexual manner, bitten my butt, got in my face, and every time I've asked her to stop, she says, do you even know who I am? Her actions are disgusting. And now I'm finding out she uses racial slurs. I've also witnessed her exhibiting inappropriate sexual behavior to complete strangers while we've been in public in a group of people. When you look at these, you might be like, oh, we don't know if that's true. This could be just a false accusation. This could be just like hearsay or whatever. But when you pile on the history of like the things she says in her videos, how she goes on about being super forward with people. I want what I want. Mine is mine. Like, you know, and these other stories of her saying very similar things. It's very incriminating, right? You can see a pattern here of this overt cockiness and this overt like, I'm like this famous lesbian, I'm conventionally attractive, so I can do and say and get whatever I want. That is completely unacceptable. This entitlement of these social media influencers is disgusting. You are no one, you are nothing. You are another human being that is no better than any other human being. And the fact that you think that you're special, that you think that you're owed things, that you think you have a right to other people's bodies is disgusting. There is such a, a horrible homophobic stereotype about lesbians and gay people being predatory and you are feeding exactly into that. Why are you making it worse for the rest of us? Like, for real. You are literally acting like a douchey frat boy. You are literally acting like a predator. And you think you can get away with it because you're a white girl. It's unacceptable, you can't act like this, period. I don't care who you are. Then someone else tweeted, listen, I followed her since 2015 and she's always been problematic and a terrible influence on young girls. She sold diet plans, which is illegal if you're not a nutritionist, which several girls developed eating disorders from because they were starving themselves. She's been saying the N word and glorifies drug and alcohol. The only people I've seen hardcore standing her are, are baby Dieslers. <laughs> And straight girls commenting, I thought I was straight on every picture. Shit's embarrassing. Her relationships are her business and I don't give a fuck enough to comment on any of that mess. But she's been an awful representation of lesbians in the LGBT community forever. She has a huge platform to speak out on an important shit and won't because she doesn't care. She posts photos every day for her 300k followers of her out and about in fucking Florida where COVID cases have been climbing the most rapidly without a mask. She's not an influencer. People literally put her on a pedestal because she has a cute face, which to be honest, personally, I don't find her personally attractive. It might be because I'm more attracted to people's personalities and what they are on the inside and what they are like up here and in here. To me, I don't find her attractive at all. Yes, she's a conventionally attractive person and I'm sure a lot of other people do. I don't find her attractive whatsoever. It's like, ugh, to me, you know? It's just this behavior is absolutely deplorable and disgusting. But I even want to jump onto that point that this person was saying that she's been going out without a mask in Florida and everything. And she posted this photo on, on her Instagram of her and one of her friends. And her, the whole friend group apparently is like this. And even I've heard that her ex-girlfriend Whitney and her other ex-girlfriend Shy, they're like this as well. And we'll get to that in a second. But she posted this photo on the 4th of July of her and her friend drinking at the beach or whatever, not wearing masks, also celebrating the 4th of July in the midst of not only a pandemic, but a civil rights movement. You have to be some sort of like next level disrespectful to go out and party, not only when a pandemic is happening, when you should be wearing a mask, but also when literally people are being killed, you know, like literally when People are fighting for their lives and you have the audacity and the disrespect to celebrate the 4th of July. What are you celebrating? Your, your president's Trump. Like, what are you celebrating? Are you a Republican? Are you a Trump supporter? Like, wh what are you trying to tell us? Like, Jesus Christ, I just thought that I saw this photo and was like, the disrespect. I thought it was like a, an ongoing consensus that no one was going to celebrate the 4th of July and no one was going to celebrate Canada Day because Oh my God, I just can't. I, the disrespect is unreal. And she's, she's not wearing a mask and she's not promoting wearing a mask. Florida is getting so bad for, for the virus and you're literally just being so disrespectful and stupid. Okay, bye. And then speaking of like her whole group is racist, here is a video of her now ex-girlfriend Shy. If you can see it, so Shy is gonna say the N word and then Lundy's gonna laugh and wrap her arms around her. So here's the video. <laughs> Like, are you serious? 
This is just like, and this is like a recent video. Like this is not something that was like back when we were 15 years old. Like this is like recent, you know? So this brings me to LGBT.50. Uh, I don't even know what this is, but I guess it's the company that works with Lundy. They posted on their Instagram story saying, it has come to our attention that an influencer that we have worked with in the past, Michelle Lundy, has been found to be a racist. We have zero tolerance at LGBT50 for such behavior and we will be cutting ties with her effective immediately. We have supported and will continue to support black people of color, members of the LGBTQ plus community and beyond. We appreciate everyone who has brought this to our attention. Thank you. So she, she's being dropped by like companies that are supporting her and stuff, which is A1 great. So she posted an apology video the other day and I just want to put it here and then we'll talk about it. I'm not racist. I'm not racist. My family is biracial. The first two people that I ever dated were two black girls for two and a half years. Like, I'm not a racist. Um, I'm just stupid and it was not okay. And I'm so sorry for those that I offended. Um, I'm gonna grow from this. So first of all, your family is biracial. You are not biracial. There's a very big difference here. So as someone who is LGBTQ+, I would look at you and say, we as a community have never accepted someone saying, well, I'm not homophobic. Um, I have an uncle who's gay. My best friend's gay. I have friends who are gay. Um, I just think it's disgusting and deplorable and whatever. And using gay slurs and stuff. We're not, we don't accept that. So why is it that you think you can say, I dated two black girls and my family has biracial people in it, that that somehow makes what you did okay? That is not an intrinsic argument for the basis of racism and if you are a racist. Saying I know black people or I have black family or I dated black people doesn't mean you are not racist because many a time homophobic and racist people will only be kind to the gay people or the uh, people of color in their immediate group. The exact telling of someone's character is how they treat someone who cannot do anything for them in return. We always look and we hold people to a standard of how do you treat waitresses and waiters? How do you treat support staff at restaurants and stuff? Because that shows someone's true character. It's not how you treat friends. It's not how you treat the people who are closest to you and around you and are doing things for you. It's how you treat people who can't do things for you. So now take that same logic and place it into the ideas of racism and homophobia. It's not what you do and how you act around the people you love and care about. It's how you treat the black people and the gay people who aren't in your immediate friend group or family. So when people came to you, when black people came to you and told you that it was disrespectful and wrong, you said, no, you're ignorant. You got defensive and you continued to say the word. So you're not stupid, you knew. You had half a brain to know. You're just ignorant and you're racist because you denied the voices of black people and you continue to use the word. For the friends that know me, no, I'm not racist. They know I love all races, sexual orientations, political views. Like, I'm here to spread love, positivity. Um, I fucked up, people make mistakes. I was fucking stupid about it. Um, I'm definitely growing from this. I, again, I'm sorry. Um, I hope one day I can be forgiven and if not I totally understand I I totally understand if not but thank you guys for watching um to be honest, the people that know you best are also racists um, or also people who use that word are also people who are ignorant and, and misguided. So the fact that you're saying, oh, my friends this, my friends that, well, your friends are also in the wrong. So if you're going to your friends and they're validating your point and they're vindicating you, in your idea that you're not racist, I think you need to go to a different group because those people are just regurgitating your own ideas. And the fact that she says, I'm sorry to the, like, if you guys were offended. No, you should be sorry you said the words, period. You shouldn't be sorry for being stupid. You should say, this is how you give an apology. And I never understand why people can't give apologies properly. Literally, all you have to do in apology is say, I take full accountability for my actions. What I did was so wrong and it will always be wrong and it will continue to be wrong. I don't deserve your forgiveness. If you would like to give me your forgiveness, I appreciate that endlessly, but I don't deserve it. What I did was wrong and I continuously did it. I was ignorant and I'm. these are the steps I'm going to take to educate myself. I am so sorry. What, it was unacceptable what I did, period. Like that is, that, and that's just me off the top of my head. Like if you actually want to write a real apology, it would be a lot better than that. But like the fact that you even say, oh, I'm, I was just stupid. I was just young. Saying things like, I'm sorry you were offended or I'm sorry that it offended you. No, you should be sorry you said it, period. Like end of discussion. It's just, it's just wild to me that people are this like dense. Like she literally sounds like she has like three brain cells to rub together. I just, 
Um, yeah, cancel Lundy. Lundy is done D2020. I don't give a shit. Not only is it coming out that you say the n-word, but you should also apologize for all the other stuff that you've been doing and the stuff that you've been doing to your audience. I only want to spread love and positivity. Really? You've literally basically told people that if they're not hot, they don't matter. You've literally spread the message that you're such a hot lesbian that you can literally say, do, and get whatever you want. It's disgusting. Apologize to the people you've hurt. Apologize to the people you've harassed and been predatory towards. Apologize for using those words, for not listening to the black community time and time again when they told you it was wrong. Do better. Like you're a part of a minority group. You're a part of the LGBTQ community and you are doing so wrong for us. Like you are such a big person in this platform. Like it makes me so mad that like people like this get big and like people like me stay small. You know what I mean? Stop supporting people just because they're attractive. What value does this person give to your life? What are they bringing to the table other than just being conventionally attractive? Cause it's not that hard to be pretty. I, I think I'm a beautiful person. I think I'm pretty, but that is the least interesting thing about me. That is the least important thing about me. There are so many more important things about me. What value are they bringing to your life? And I think this is what we need to start doing when we support people online. What value is this person bringing to my life? Support people because they're good people, because they help you learn things, because they're kind and respectful and care about other human beings. Stop supporting people like this. It's absolutely mind boggling to me why you would give these people your time of day, your follow, your comments, your likes. Give those to the people that deserve it. Um, that's all I really have to say. I'm so tired of people like literally supporting dumpster fire trash. Hold these people accountable. Like stop, like retract your support from them. Be a good person yourself. Subscribe to an unproblematic king. I love you guys for supporting me. Thank you for supporting me. You guys are the best. All of you that are subscribed and follow me on all my social media and stuff and support me on Patreon and all of that, you guys rock and you're supporting an unproblematic queen. Thank you for coming along for this video. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe down below because you know I appreciate that so much. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.